just a little uh, just a little pre-tick prevention. Good stuff, Macaritan. Can't start a backpacking trip down here in the gorge with my L8. It's like a tradition, you know. I got to slam an L8 before I hit the trail. And when I finish it, I think it's a law. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to research it. Maybe Google it later when I have a chance. I got a signal. <laughs> Good to go. Let's do it. What's up, trail junkies? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Headed for the Copperas Falls. Now this trail is an unmarked trail. You are just uh, zigzagging and zigzagging all along this creek. Yes, so it's not marked, so you basically just follow the creek. Follow the creek. So on the way to Conference Falls, you got like 10 or more creek crossings. So the water's a little low today, so it's pretty good. You know, you get a very strong Jurassic Park vibe when you're down here at Red River Gorge. These days I'm gonna smoke my camera. I'm gonna be like really pissed. You know, because I'm a dumbass. How many times I see you across the creek here at on the trail to Coppers Falls? I say what, 10? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of them. I said I don't mind getting wet today. And no, I'm not wearing my super cool waterproof socks because it is summer. I'll wear those in when the water's like cold or it's cold out. You ever like wake up and your socks are frozen? Solid. It's not a. It's not a. It's not cool, man. Well, there you go, Copper's Falls. Mission accomplished. Of course, I wish a little more water was coming out. But, you know, that'll work. The sun's coming out. I own it! I'm the only one here. Gotta love it. Of course, I wasn't like that like about 30 minutes ago. It's always a lot cooler when the, when the pool down here is full and the water's coming over a little more. The pool down there will go nice aqua blue, greenish tint to it. It's really awesome. Man. But you know, that'll work. That'll work. I'll take that. Very cool. Oh well, I'm going to slap the pack on and head back downstream. Yeah. Later on, Copperas Falls. Till next time. Do we?
is hike, hike, hike. Because that's what I like. A hike, hike, hike. That's what I like. Like, this is probably the, uh, the muddiless, muddiless, is that a word? Uh, it's been since I've been down here. And so, uh, quite some time. So I met this family and they asked me where they could go. And I said, the falls. And it was worth it, right? It was worth it. Totally worth it. Well, so there you go, man. Come on down. Let's check out the falls. We'll see you guys. primitive. That's a pretty big little camping area along the trail leading to the falls. But, uh, yeah. Big one. Put, uh, put the whole team in here. I'm sure firewood's uh, hard to come by. Oh yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, Huge camping area. Walk on. Here we go with a new adventure. All right, man. I'm do a little river walking along the Red River. I'm wondering, just you and me. The sun in your eyes? I have to sun in my back. It's not good. It's not good to film. All right. Let's find a camp spot, gang. to where, uh, where the trail shoots off. I, I believe, I'm hoping, this takes you up to Eagle. Eagle's Butris or Eagle's Nest. Um, I'll walk up a little bit and check it out. I found some good camp spots down the trail too, a little bit, so if not, I'll just backtrack but, and maybe try it in the morning or something. But uh, let's go see if we can find it. Right, man? Let's go. Phew. You know what? Let's kind of go on top of that. That's where I'm headed. Freaking awesome, man. One of the nature you kick ass. That's just. You just, you know, of course, you know, the camera doesn't do any justice. But, anyways, I gotta climb up that so uh, we'll see at the top climbing up like a goat like an out-of-breath goat but nonetheless a goat <laughs> all right I think I gotta go up there I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going all right I'll talk to you in a little bit Almost there, man. Almost. Check it out. I think I found my camp spot. 
Then we'll hang out right here, ma'am. There's even a little water source just right over there, just a little creek. But uh, let's walk down here and take a look at my view, shall we? This is gonna be cool. I have it all to myself, apparently. Ready? Jesus. <laughs> I got it. Ready? Ready? Here we go. I had to do it. I had to do it, man. Sorry. I had to do it. Incredible. Fantastic. Awesome. Got a good camp spot. Got a water source. Couldn't ask for anything else. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to set up uh, set up the old uh, tent and uh, get things going, man. All right, so I can sit right there and chill out. It's awesome. Did I mention it's my birthday? Thanks. 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 Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, man. Just like downtown. Wouldn't be complete without my Nemo pillow. Pillow. And I like my super cool, uh, was like actually buff. Put over, but it's just got that nice fleece on there. But I put a buff on it. Nice, cool Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake buff. Rock on. Hey, should I look for firewood? I don't know. It gets dark about nine now. The crash in about ten. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel, man. Pick up my mess here and uh, get things squared away, and uh, we'll take it from there. I think that'll do it for wood. It's not like I'm going to be up till three hours of the morning. Then again, I don't have to be back to work right now, tentatively, till June 15th. <laughs> and it is June 1st. And uh, Monday night. And Eagle Butris, Red River Gorge, and I own it. I'm the only one up here, man, as far as I know. I haven't seen anybody else. I've seen a couple of people coming down. That was about it. But yeah, there we go. There's the Lightheart Duo. It's all set up, ready to go. Get the fire to where it's about ready to be ignited, and then uh, I guess I'm gonna make some dinner. And then just relax. So yeah, well, I'm gonna get busy. <laughs> I think I'm good on firewood. Just needs the green light to, for Operation Ignite. So now, on to dinner. They found me. Well, shit. <laughs> Get to the chopper. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. I'm just, I'm just farting around. Just, just feels good just to sit here and not do a damn thing. Sweet. There you go. Got the uh, got the Texas Fair chili, the Texas State Fair chili. Then they give you a little packet. See, got some real cheese in there, and you got some corn chips. But yeah, you know, once it's uh, steeped for a while, and then they even give you a little packet of Texas Pete hot sauce. Aha! So I got my spectacles on, in case you didn't uh, recognize me. 
I'm notorious for uh, sleeping or passing out with my contacts on. I did that on my last trip. I had one before last. In my eyes the next day, oh my god. Look like I look like I smoke like an ounce of Gorilla Glue. It's so bad. Down here in the corners. And good. Let it steep for 10 minutes. Then add the chips and the cheese and the Texas Pete hot sauce. Mm -mm. All right, what are we going to do next? I'm looking good. All right, it's time to add the uh, chips and cheese to my chili. Yeah, I've eaten them before. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Looks like darkness slowly creeping over the gorge. Yeah, it's time to start a fire. All right, I'm cheating. You don't think I was gonna use like a ferro rod, do you? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Cotton ball and Vaseline, man. These things are awesome. Yeah, I have uh, earplugs. You know why I bring them? For whipper wheels. <laughs> well, it's dead until 10. I can't, uh, what a day. What a day it'd be, and a night. It'd be hard to top tomorrow. Well, good night from the top of, uh, Eco Butris in the Red River Gorge, southeastern Kentucky. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Guten Morgen, Ita. Oh no, a great night. <clears throat> Last night, I thought it started sprinkling. It started out a little light rain, like uh, around 10 o'clock. Of course, I was about ready to go to sleep then, anyways, but. This wasn't in a forecast. And, uh, but other than that, slept you know pretty good until the whipper wheels woke me up. No need for alarm. No need for an alarm when you got whipper wheels in the country. Woke up a couple times, but just uh, far for the course. But yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's amazing that I just uh, be on top here. It's just that I've, I've owned it. There's nobody up here. I guess it was a zoo, of course, obviously over the weekend, but, you know, here I am. Uh, well, it's Tuesday morning now, Monday and just uh, Monday night and today, just nobody, just me. I've been lucking out. Same same thing happened when I was up at uh, Cloud Splitter, even Hanson's Point. I've just been lucky, I guess, to uh, pick those days. Nobody decides to come to the gorge, or at least uh, come to these spots anyways. Go up and start packing stuff up and uh, get some breakfast ready. Awesome! It's awesome, 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 awesome. Oops. 
Sunrise at 6.13. I don't think I'm at the right angle, but we'll see. Looking forward to the climb down. Of course, I gotta go way down there somewhere. That's where I started, so. This is a spectacular view, but uh, I'm gonna pick, uh, I've been just about top of all of them. And I'm gonna pick uh, Hanson's Point, probably for probably the best, so. This is definitely a close second. And uh, Cloud Splitter's not too bad either. Cloud Splitter's pretty awesome. I don't know, maybe, maybe Hanson Point, my favorite, uh, favorite, maybe? Gosh, I don't know. That's tough between Cloud Splitter's pretty hot. It's pretty cool. But, uh, both just absolutely spectacular, though. This was a good birthday. It's been one I'll remember for a while. Time for breakfast. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll do it again. Ever have any nut butter? These are delicious and 190 calories for this little pack, man. They're so good. I'm going to have another one. <laughs> Seriously? Four lighters? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. See these? Know what these are? Toothpaste tabs. There you go. That's what that is. Toothpaste tabs. Yeah. So no tube, no mess, no fuss. Just put them in your mouth, start chewing them. Creates a toothpaste lather in your mouth and then, uh, you know. But yeah, just figured I'd share that with you. That spider is huge, man. I mean, it's got to be the biggest spider I think I've seen other than a tarantula. <laughs> and I'm not even sure what kind it is. I think it's a big giant wolf. I don't know. Doesn't look like a wolf. But it's a big one. Anyways, she's beautiful. I'm going to scoot her away. I can't believe she's underneath my tent. But uh, I'm surprised she didn't get squished. That's the biggest spider I've seen here in the Midwest. He's big. They also have uh, they also have scorpions down here in the Red River Gorge. I've never seen one yet, but uh, I'd love to see one. Yeah, scorpions down in Red River Gorge called the uh, Southern Devil Scorpions. The Southern Devil Scorpion. I'm down in Kentucky. But uh, yeah, maybe one of these guys will run into one. Of course, I haven't run into a rattlesnake or anything yet, or copperhead, which, uh, it's been a decade since I've seen one in the wild, but, uh, but I used to handle them and uh, collect them for a good part of my life, but I just, you know, I could walk the same trail a hundred times in a row, and that one day I don't go, somebody will go, my gosh, there's rattlesnakes all over the place, but, you know, that's just the way it goes, I don't know. They're eluding me. But uh, I just like to catch them on film, capture capture them. I would just like to capture them on film. All right, well, look, I'm just about packed up. Deciding if I want to go back down to the Daniel, is it the Daniel Trail? Go back down that, uh, go back down this rock that way, or maybe just try to, I believe if I just shoot, I'll run to the Osborne. But uh, I don't know, I'll make the decision up here in just a minute. I'll make that decision here in a minute anyways. Yeah. I can't talk. I can't talk this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll get this stuff packed up. Talk to you in a minute.
double check the campground. Make sure it's forgotten. All the trash is picked up. Looks good. All right. Well, I guess I'm out here. I got off that little offshoot. I decided to take a different route, come down the Osborne. And uh, the trail I was on, though, it's like a horse trail, was a horse trail. Um, just, I'd call it the, I don't know what it was called, it's just some unofficial trail. But they ought to call it the Deadfall Trail. <laughs> I was like, I, can't, I heard a little more, more down timber on that trail section than I can remember. But uh, but now I am on the Osborne, heading south, man, back to the parking lot. So all is good. All right, man, walk on. Let's do some walking through the woods. <laughs> Let's do some walking through the woods footage. And uh, what do you think we got to play? Some rock, some bluegrass, some rockabilly, maybe some country western, maybe just country, or maybe just some western, or maybe. Uh, I don't know. Some blues? Maybe some classical? Just anything except uh, hip hop. <laughs> hip hop's not allowed in the woods, man. All right. Oh, I finally get to go down a hill. All right. Walk on. Let's do it. Take it away, maestro. Osborne Bend Trail. I have to say you're probably my least like trail <laughs> down here in the Red River Gorge. Yeah, I'm sorry Osborne Bend. I just, uh, I was down here after day after Christmas hiking uh, the Osborne Bend Trail. And I was just like, you know, I just wasn't like, uh, of course, you know, everybody wants, you know, you want views. You know, you want some views, man. But this trail's just, it's shared by horses too, so it's just, uh, for the most part, it's just uh, not, not on my top five list, that's for sure. So that's what I was just, uh, man, it's just on my mind. I figured I'd share it with you because I got uh, nobody else to talk to out here. So, uh, yeah, not a big fan of the Osborne Bend Trail. Sorry, it's just, that's just me. You might like it, you might love it. Might like it if you, if you own a horse. That'd be cool. Yeah. If you had a horse, if you were an equestrian, it'd be pretty sweet. But uh, um, as far as hiking, I don't dig it. Oh well. Walk on! <laughs> I love the giant magnolias here. Yeah, it's basically Osborne Trail right there, man. <laughs> Damn, laid up, dude.
Ta-da! Great trip. Getting a little toasty out today. Supposed to be in high 80s. So uh, probably I'm gonna head back to Indianapolis. And uh, I don't think I could top yesterday, man. Yesterday, I mean, I just it was unbelievable. But I'll be back down again before too long. So in the meantime, I'm hoop and I'm out. <laughs>